It's tonight at 7. I'm Kelly Swoop. Parents with the Maryland 529 plans aren't giving up the fight for the money that they believe is theirs. We've talked to dozens of parents, and today we're hearing from someone who worked for the plan. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Morgan has the story of their fight to get what they believe is owed to them. Spencer Fell spent 16 years at Maryland 529, rising to the ranks of a customer service supervisor. Today, he decided to speak out after hearing of the issues parents looking to get their money are having. Uh, to treat the uh, customers like this and cheat them out of the benefits that have been in the written disclosure statements since 1998 to 2021 uh, is, is just beyond unfair. The battle is over interest payments. Parents put the money in nearly two decades ago looking for financial returns. They saw those large returns in their statements at the end of 2021. Then Maryland 529 said it was a calculating error and took them away. I, I would never have worked a day at this program if I thought there was even a 1% chance of something like this happening. I Brian Savoy, one of the parents at the forefront of this fight, estimates it would take three to five hundred million dollars to make these parents whole. It's unclear if Maryland 529 has the money showed in the accounts this time last year or not. However, now, based on all of these uh, shady and sudden changes, I'm honestly not sure. Maryland 529 has stuck to the claim that this was a calculating error and that the money shown in the counts now is correct without the massive interest payments parents expect. In a statement on Thursday, 529 said the current account balance are being corrected. Some have been done manually, but they're accurate. Lawmakers in Annapolis are looking into the issue, but while one side says the issue is nearing a resolution, the other says it's not over. In Baltimore, Jeff Morgan, WMAR 2 News.